Antonio. 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 Antonio positive emission tomography tells you something about brain uh, physiology, then in order to assess brain function and brain dysfunction, people use neurocognitive tests. Tests which in the past were paper and pencil tests and today are increasingly computerized, uh, which basically reflect the fact that the brain is a highly complex and highly heterogeneous uh, uh, organ. Uh, and different parts of the brain are in charge of different processes. Frontal lobes are in charge of decision making. Parietal lobe is in charge of spatial orientation. Occipital lobe is in charge of visual processing. Temporal lobe is in charge of language. The left hemisphere is in charge of uh, language and object recognition, etc., etc. Brainstem, which was mentioned here, is in charge of arousal and activation. So, and so it is common in. Uh, uh, in, in, in science and clinical practice to use, to design tests which measure, uh, 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 which uh, challenge processes uh, 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 mediated by these various brain structures in a very systematic and scientifically informed way. And so IBEA has undertaken to design a suite of such tests. And of course such tests have existed for, you know, uh, for many years. And neurologists and psychologists and, and educators have been using them. So the question arises, well, why bother and design a new collection of such tests? Well, the answer is very simple. Uh, most of these tests are designed in such a way that they are culture dependent and language dependent, which means that neurocognitive tests designed in North America at the for the use of American professionals cannot be easily used, I don't know, in Korea or in Kenya, in Tanzania or in North Africa. And what's even more important is that in order for these tests to be useful, they need to be accompanied with, with a database because the way professionals interpret these tests is basically similar to the way doctors interpret blood tests. They, there is a normative
to acquire an international database in various parts of the world, in various developing countries, so that ultimately a tool would be made available to various professionals, educators, doctors, psychologists, who want to study mental health in Korea or uh, dementia in North Africa, or the effects of head trauma, uh, or the effects of good effects of education in Tanzania. So that there would be a tool uh, that of unquestionable and international global value made available to clinicians and to educators in various countries in, of the of developing world, which today do not have such tools in the context of the United Nations efforts, various efforts, and, and of course, as has been mentioned here, IBEA is um, uh, affiliated with the United Nations. So um, uh, this is a very appropriate and a very valuable effort in, in that broad, broad context. So what we would like to do now, and here I'll refer to Damien, uh, to, is to show you some of these tests and, uh, and maybe even to invite you to take them. And before we go, I want you to understand that this is not a finished product. Uh, it is something that we are developing now. And uh, so uh, this is just a demonstration of our effort rather than of a finished product. Well, the first test is that Damien is going to show us in the test of working memory, correct? Correct. Right. Yeah. In the test, can we see the brain for a second? Thank you. Working memory is a very complex function which is mediated by the frontal lobes. Those of you who read psychological literature, neuroscientific literature, neurological literature, know that literature is a buzz with this term everybody is interested in. It's a complex process which allows our mind to be flexible. Suppose you, uh, 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 you are uh, 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 an operator who needs to respond to, to questions which arrive uh, via three or four telephone lines in parallel. You need to keep in mind this, these questions, you need to rapidly answer them. By the time you answer these questions, new questions arrive, you have to switch mental set, and there is this content, constant updating and switching of the content of your memory. Okay? This process is uh, uh, very complex, and uh, we utilize it uh, 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 in our everyday activities all the time, and it's a very fragile process. We know that it, uh, that it is particularly affected in traumatic brain injury, in various neuropsychiatric disorders like schizophrenia, in, uh, in various forms of dementia, certainly affected in learning disability, in attention deficit disorder. So it's very important to have tools to study and, uh, and to diagnose it and to see uh, how it can be improved. And then I said, such tools exist in, uh, the, in North America, but such tools are not available in various <laughs> developing countries, so hopefully they will be available. So now, Damien will put you to this test. And now I'll defer to you, tell people what to do. <laughs> <laughs> 